Chances are when you start selling your products in other countries, you'll have a different pricing structure than when you sell in the United States. When developing an export pricing strategy, it pays to research the markets you plan to target. You will want to consider the price your competitors charge for similar products, any costs to comply with local certifications or foreign regulations, costs associated with modifying your product so it will operate properly, perhaps on a different electric system, costs of changing your packaging for cultural or language reasons, and allowing for costs associated with after-sale service. There will be other costs associated with exporting to overseas markets, including transportation, taxes and duties, sales commissions, insurance, and financing. After you have done this research and you've decided on an export pricing strategy, your buyers will probably request a pro forma invoice, which is a detailed offer at a specific price paid in a specific currency, usually US dollars, that is good for a set amount of time. A pro forma invoice should include a description of your product, including its weight and dimensions of the packaging, the selling price, and specific terms of sale and payment. You'll also want to include terms of delivery called INCO terms. These terms spell out which party is responsible to pay and assume risks at each stage in the international transit of goods. So if the buyer is responsible to contract and pay for picking up your product at the factory, insurance, arranging customs clearance, and paying all the duties and taxes, there is an INCO term for that. Or if you are going to take responsibility for delivering the goods duty paid to the buyer's place of business, there is an INCO term for that too. Understanding the additional costs when setting your product's price overseas is critical to a profitable expansion into foreign markets. A pro forma invoice describes the product, packaging, pricing, and terms of the sale including terms of delivery and the responsible party called INCO terms.